Kevin, 2-3 two, two draws tonight with Edinburgh City, your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, chance gone I think, um, I thought we've created enough chances to win the game, um, that's for sure. Um, Edinburgh have had a hell of a lot to deal with on the night, you know, um, and, and a, you know, players coming on, players coming off injured and I've got to give them great credit for, for doing that and you know, they galvanise themselves and you know, fair play to them, but we've had chances, you know, we've had chance upon chance tonight and and the goals we lose, I'm disappointed. I don't think there was any massive individual error, but there was a softness about the two goals that we lose tonight and um, it's got to be better. Uh, but it's a, it's a good, it keeps us unbeaten, you know, in a few games now and, and we can look forward to next week and back at home. We've won two in a row and we'll look to exercise that advantage of being at home again. I've had another very difficult game and just League 2 football, you know, it's there's just nothing in it and fine lines, I mean, it, it is what it is, but I, you know, the, the first goal with Jack Lincoln, you know, Dale into Dylan, knock off to Jack and a fabulous volley and the second goal, big Dylan deserves, you know, I thought he thought he really battled up there and, and, and got us some into some really good situations, but unfortunately, you know, we just didn't create the right chance to take on the night. And uh, Dylan Bikey scored the winning goal on Saturday and you gave him the start to, on the starting line-up today. What did you think of his performance? I thought he'd done fine, I thought he'd done well, you know, I, I've always pushed people, you know, I think there's, there's a couple of half chances, I'll have to have a look at it again, you know, can, can he score it, can he be that wee bit more clinical, but I'm not going to sit here and say he's the reason why we didn't win. Um, there's, there's 12 players that took part tonight, um, every, with chances all over in every department, you know, by Jojo at the end there with a header that very similar to the one he scored a couple of years ago actually, um, you know, here and unfortunately tonight wasn't the night, but I'm not going to sit and say, you know, that's his fault in the 94th minute to be up there you know, tired and throwing his body into things is fantastic, good commitment, but I thought, sorry getting back to your, your question, I, I thought Dylan Bickey did well, I thought he posed a threat and a problem for Edinburgh and uh, you know, he'll be happy with that, but he'll be, he's greedy as well for goals, you know, and he'll want to, he'll want to add those. And Jack Leach, uh, probably maybe have already taken care of goal this season as well, that was I hope no. finish. I hope no, I mean it's a, it's a good goal, Jack's get accustomed to scoring important goals, good goals, he scored one here actually, he likes it here. Um, it's a great goal, it's a good team goal as well, and a, and a spectacular finish. Um, I hope it's not goal of the season, I hope we've got a few more contenders in there come May. Um, but, you know, the show must go on now and, and we'll have eyes on games tomorrow. You know, the, the boys have got a well-deserved break, you know, they can have the weekend off, they, they can go and enjoy themselves and, and dust themselves down, ready to go again. But, the, you know, the general feeling is we've missed a wee chance tonight. And uh, Nathan Flanagan came on and he looked like he gave a lot of danger to that uh, Edinburgh City defence. Aye, ah, Nathan's obviously had Covid, you know, and he uh, didn't have many symptoms, but I think it's always important, you know, that to throw him back in there might have been a wee bit selfish of us, you know, and we've got to protect the players as well, and he could have been flat had he started, you know, but he came on, he was he was alive, you know, he was he was the Nathan that we know he can be, and he, you're right, he, he gave he gave his good width, and he gave, you know, Edinburgh some problems, first on the left and then on the right later on, but uh, aye, um, disappointed, you know, with the chances that we've created and not taken tonight, and uh, but as I say, it's, it could turn out to be a good point, but only that if you win your next game, you know, so pressure's on. And um, as you said, back at home against Cowden Beef next weekend, how do you approach that game? With, with confidence, you know, we're disappointed tonight, you know, make, make, make no mistake about that, and it, every team you're disappointed when you don't win games of football, but I think we can still win with a fair bit of confidence, you know, we've... Um, as I say, we'd won three in a row coming here. We've, 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 you know, we've drew tonight. We've picked up another point on the road, and we've got to show a confidence. We've got to show a bravery and a courage to go out there in front of our own fans and and put on a performance and, and get a positive result. So uh, there's no reason why we should get into the game not confident. Um, we've showed enough in the last four or five weeks and beforehand to suggest that we're, we're good enough to compete and win games in this league. And, that's exactly what I'll be saying to the boys. And we had a good travelling support here tonight. How good was that to have uh, backing on the team? <sighs> I just, I can't put into words how important, you know, I, I probably could try and I'll be here all night, but it's, uh, they're just, when they're like that, the fans, it's, it is an extra man. It does give you energy. It gives us energy. It gives the players energy. And they were just, you know, we heard them from minute one to the 90, whatever minute it was, you know, they were they were noisy, they were boisterous, they were giving us the, the, the right support, you know, getting right behind the boys and, and the boys responded, you know, and, and they dug out a point here in, in a very difficult moment when you're 2-1 down away from home and you've missed a few chances, you can feel sorry for yourself, but with that support, you know, that t unity coming together, um, we, we managed to dig in and get a, 
get a good point and as I say I've I've been angry at the boys and but in reflection you know already you're, you're mellowing out and you're saying it listen it's away from home and it could be a good point so uh, but as ever we'll study it and we'll, we'll try and learn from it. Thanks very much Kevin. Thanks Ben, cheers.